what's up and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video because this is my first ever collab video. So woo! Um, so I've teamed up with the adorable Pauline Care to share with you some of our top readings for the summer and she also created her version of her summer readings which will also be up today I think and I will link her channel down below so you guys check her out and let's get started. So my first book for my summer readings will be for the girls who kind of are girly girls and who love shopping and who love kind of like a romance, comedy, humor type thing. But my first book would be the Sophie Kinsella, The Shopaholic to the Stars. This is a really easy and I find cute and funny type of reading. She also, this is the third book I think from the, from this series, from her and her I think it was Shopaholic and Mini or something like that after um, she got married and she ended up having her, her baby. So this is the third one. And I find this is a really, like I said, a really easy read, really fun. And I actually couldn't put this down. Um, it was really quirky, just like her, just like Rebecca Bloomwood's, which is the main character's personality. Really quirky, really funny. So I really recommend uh, this if you guys we really love an easy read, really funny, and really like to laugh. So my second book from, for my reading list would be this book right here. This is Heart of the Matter by Emily Griffin. She also has a book, I think I read, it was Love love the one you're with and it is similar to that one with it's a bit of a predictable book I would say but it is still a really good and easy read for the summer just lying down on the beach or like in your backyard and everything but this follows the series and her, her other books and this like I said it's really cute it's not one of my favorites but I still really enjoyed it so for my third book from my summer reading list would be this book right here, Don't Sweat the Small Stuff by Richard Carlson. And I really enjoyed this book. This was a breeze to read through. And I find that it is really good to kind of help you find different ways to get to let go of little things that don't really matter, that stress you out every day. And I really love the, com the cover. It's a simple ways to keep the little things from taking over your life. And, you know, it's really true that sometimes because of how stressed we are, we don't realize that all the problems we're having, we're kind of bringing it into other problems or other areas into our lives. But this book kind of helps you divert that problem and kind of helps you to live a happier, more stressless life, which I think everyone should have or everyone should actually try to live because it is a lot healthier and it is a lot better in general. So I really recommend this book to any of you guys. Fourth, so for the fourth book in my summer reading list is this book right here, What If by Randall Monroe. And this was actually in Bush's, uh, Prison of Bush um, summer reading list as well for 2015. And I find it, I f this actually caught my eye because of the little dinosaur that was hanging on a rope like from this little black hole right here but I find it really cute and quirky and just it's a basically a book about humor about easy humor and questions that you never thought you'd ask yourself in life it's a really easy read all the all the pages inside come with like little um, little pictures and little designs and everything so I think it's a really cute book and if you have an easy humor for analytical questions in life or any analytical questions that you thought you would uh, would never ask yourself go get this for you this is honestly really good and I think it's on sale right now at Indigo for like $20 which is so much cheaper and plus it's hardcover which is how I love my books because so my fifth book for my from my summer reading list is all is for all of you business people out there. This is the, the book Rework by Jason Fried and David Heimer. I I don't even know how to say this, but Heimer Min Heimer Minor. Either way, I don't have the cover because I borrowed this from my sister and my brother-in-law and I like to actually take off the cover to make sure I don't ruin it or anything like that. But um, like I said, this is a 
business, kind of like a how to start your own business or how to prolong your business. And usually I'm really not into that stuff, like David David and Goliath and that stuff, which are really good books, but they're just not really my genres. But this was actually an easy read. This is a straight to the point, really easy to comprehend. Also kind of not, I wouldn't say they bash people with the traditional traditional thoughts but more like they find an alternative with the modern technology we have today with the modern thinking and advanced thinking compared to what we've had before and like I said I really enjoyed this book um like I said I don't fly I don't like business books very much but I flew through this really fast I wasn't able to put this down so you guys should actually really read this if you guys plan on starting your own company or if you already have one and would like to find out ways to kind of keep it going for a really long time. So those are all my top five books for my summer reading from my summer reading list. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below if you guys have read the books or any of these books or have any other recommendations for any other books I should read. I am currently waiting on my Indigo order uh, for the Grey series for that is the fourth book in the Fifty Shades of Grey by L. James. So I'm actually kind of excited to read that book even though some people didn't really enjoy it or said it was weird or whatever but I will read it myself and I will let you guys know so as always Stitch is always here to see you guys off like I said I hope you guys like this video I just wanted to thank Pauline for doing this collab with me I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did and I will see you guys in my next video have a great week bye I fall in love in the summertime.